Welcome to Engineering Funda family. This video is a part of Network Theory lecture series and in this video, I'll be going to solve three very interesting questions based on graph theory. So let us see the first question here. So if you observe, here we are given with incidence matrix and we are dealt with to draw graph for given incidence matrix. Now my dear students, whenever you have been given with incidence matrix, at that time, first of all, you will have to check column wise, all the column should have addition that is zero. So here I'm just checking it, it is zero for all column, right? So I can say this is incidence matrix only. Why I'm telling you this? The reason is sometimes in exam, they are writing incidence matrix, but they are giving you reduced incidence matrix. That's why. Now we can easily draw graph based on this incidence matrix. So with incidence matrix, you should know vertically we are having nodes. So let us give naming to nodes. So vertically, let us say here we are having node one, here we are having node two, here three, here four and here five. And horizontally we are having branches. So let me give naming to branches. So let us say this is branch A, this is branch B, C, D, E, F and G. Now whenever you want to plot graph, first of all locate position of nodes. So I am just keeping my nodes randomly, here node 1 is there, here at center I am considering node 2, over here let us say node 3 is given. Here let us say 4 is given and here let us say 5 is given. It is not compulsory that you should place location of nodes as per this which I have written but randomly you can consider it. Now whenever you want to draw graph at that time all you need to do is you need to see vertically branch wise connection. So branch A that is there as per node 1 and node 5 as it is having minus 1 and 1. So branch A is connected in between 1 and 5. So let me connect 1 and 5. I am connecting it. So this is branch A. And here direction is there from plus to minus. So phi is having plus. So this will be the direction, right? Which is, which is happening from phi to 1. Now, my dear students, let us see what is happening with branch B. So that is there in between 4 and 5. So 4 and 5, that is this, where we have branch B and direction is there from plus to minus means 4 to 5 direction will be there. Now let us see what is happening with branch C. So that is there in between 3 and 5. So 3 and 5, that is having one branch. Let me connect it and if you observe, 3 is having plus 1 and 5 is having minus 1, so direction will be this. Now let us see what is happening with branch D, so that is there in between 1 and 2, so in between 1 and 2, let me connect one branch, 2 is having plus 1, so it will be there from 2 to 1 and that is our branch D. Now let us see what is happening with branch E, so that is there in between 1 and 4. So in between 1 and 4, let me draw one branch and that branch is E and you see 1 is having plus 1, so direction will be there from 1 to 4. Now let us see what is happening with branch F, so that is there in between 2 and 4, so here we are having 2, so with 2 and 4 there is one connection of branch which is F. and 2 is having plus 1, so direction will be there from 2 to 4. Now what is happening with branch G, so that is there in between 2 and 3, so 2 is having plus 1, so you see I am connecting it, so 2 to 3 we are having branch G and as 2 is having plus 1, direction will be from 2 to 3. So this is my graph connection for given incidence matrix. Let us have second problem over here. So in second problem, we have been given with graph 
and we are dealing with to obtain total tree in this given graph so my dear students when you want to obtain total number of trees first of all we should make incidence matrix so when you want to form incidence matrix you'll have to write nodes vertically so you see we are having total four nodes so i'm writing 1 2 3 4 and we need to write horizontally with branches so here total five branches are there a b c d e now my dear students i need to place the values of coefficient so here we need to see branch wise connection so for branch a it is happening from 1 to 2 so 1 is having plus 1 and 2 is having minus 1 and 3 and 4 are not connected so that will be zero now let us see what is happening with branch b so that is there in between 2 and 3 it is emerging from 2 so 2 is having plus 1 and 3 is having minus 1 and 1 and 4 are not connected so that will be zero now let us see what is happening with branch c so that is there in between 3 and 4 it is emerging from 3 so 3 is having plus 1 1 and 2 are not connected so that will be zero now what is happening with branch d so that is there in between 2 and 4 so direction is there from 2 so you can say 2 is having plus 1 and 4 is having minus 1 and 1 and 3 are not connected so that will be zero now you see e is there in between 1 and 4 and it is there in the direction of 1 to 4 so 1 will be plus 1 and 4 will be minus 1 and 2 and 3 are not connected so that will be zero so this is my incidence matrix now my dear students you should know to obtain total number of trees we should have reduced incidence matrix so for reduce incidence matrix you can remove any one row from given matrix so let us remove row number 4 so after removing row number 4 we can have reduce incident matrix so when you want to write reduce incidence matrix then you just find incidence matrix from the graph after that remove one row that will be reduce incidence matrix so that is this let me write this first so our question is to identify total number of trees in given graph so you should know total number of trees that is determinant of ar into ar transpose where ar is reduced incidence matrix now i'll explain you shortcut way to identify this matrix multiplication which is ar into ar transpose so my dear students you should know here this matrix that is 3 cross 5 matrix and ar transpose will be 5 cross 3 so 3 cross 5 into 5 cross 3 that will be 3 cross 3 and as it is 3 cross 3 there will be 3 rows and 3 column now my dear students you should know any matrix into its transpose matrix that will be always symmetrical so you don't need to calculate all coefficients i'll show you how to calculate all these coefficients easily so when you want to calculate this first element so that will be first row into first row so that is 1 into 1 plus these are zeros and 1 into 1 so that will be 2 now this second element that will be second row into second row so minus 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 so that will be 3 and this third element that will be third row into third row so that will be minus 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 so that will be 2 now you will have to find this element that is first row into second row so that will be 1 into minus 1 then this is 0 0 0 0 so this will be 1 into minus 1 means minus 1 now when you want to calculate this element at that time it will be first row into third row so you see first row into third row that is this is 0 0 0 0 0 so this is 
Now when you want to calculate this element, so that will be second row into third row. So this is minus 1 into 0, then 1 into minus 1, that is minus 1, then 0, 0, 0. So this is minus 1. Now, as this is symmetric matrix, you can say this 0 will come here, this minus 1 will come here and this minus 1 that will come here. So that is how you can identify this matrix multiplication easily. Now my dear students, we need to find determinant of this matrix. So that is 2 into 3 into 2, 6 minus 1 into 1 that is minus 1 minus minus plus 1 into minus 1 into 2 so that is minus 2 then minus 1 into 0 so I can say this is 2 into 5 means 10 minus 2 so that is 8 so for this given question total number of trees that will be 8 now my dear students third question is to draw graph for given incidence matrix now my dear students whenever you have been given with incidence matrix first of all check column of this matrix addition should be 0. So you see minus 1 plus 1 0, 1 minus 1 0, 1 minus 1 0, 1 minus 1 0, 1 minus 1 0, then here minus 1 is there. So this is not incidence matrix, given matrix is reduced incidence matrix. Now as if you want to draw graph then you should have incidence matrix. So how to get incidence matrix? You will have to write eliminated row which is there in reduced incidence matrix. So here if you add 1 and rest is having 0, in that case another row is added and now column wise addition is 0. So now I can say this matrix which is 5 cross 6 matrix that is my incidence matrix. Now my dear students as if you want to draw graph then you should know vertically there are nodes in incidence matrix. So here total 5 nodes are there let me give naming 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and horizontally there are branches. Let us say branch A, B, C, D, E and F is given to us. So here what I will do is first of all I will be placing location of nodes randomly. So let us say this is my node 1, here I am having node 2, here I am having node 3, here I am having node 4 and here I am having node 5. Now as if we want to calculate branches then here direction of branches that is happening from plus 1 to minus 1. So let us see what is happening for branch A. So branch A is there in between 1 and 4. So I need to connect one branch in between 1 and 4. 4 is having plus 1 and 1 is having minus 1. So direction will be there from 4 to 1. This is my branch A. Now let us see what is happening with branch B. So it is there in between 1 and 3. So I need to connect branch in between 1 and 3 direction will be there from plus to minus. So 1 is having plus, 3 is having minus. So direction will be there in this direction. This is branch B. Now let us see what is happening with branch C. So that is there in between 1 and 2. So let us connect branch C in between 1 and 2 direction will be there from plus to minus. So 1 to 2 direction will be there. Now let us see branch D. So that is there in between 2 and 3. So here you see we are having 2 and 3. So 2 and 3 connection is there with branch D and direction is there from plus to minus. So 2 to 3 direction will be there. Now my dear students, I will explain you branch E. So you see branch E that is there in between 2 and 4. So here we are having 2 to 4 for branch E and direction is there from plus to minus. So 2 is having plus, 4 is having minus, 
so direction will be there from 2 to 4. Now let us see what is there with branch F. So it is there in between 4 and 5. So this is 4, this is 5. So I can say in between 4 and 5 we are having branch F and that is there from the direction plus 2 minus. So plus is there with 5, 4 is having minus. So I can say direction is there from 5 to 4. So this is how we can have graph of this question. Now my dear students, you should know here this is a node at which only one branch is connected. So I can say this node number 5 that is terminal node. I have seen sometimes in competitive examination, they might be giving you incidence matrix and they might be asking you which is terminal node. So you will have to see one node which is having only one coefficient, right? So it could be one or minus one, but it should be having only one coefficient row wise. So here you see row wise, phi is having only one coefficient. So directly I can say this node phi is terminal node. So in competitive examination, this type of questions are coming. So you should be ready for that. So I think now it is clear to you how to draw graph from incidence matrix as well as from reduced incidence matrix. You should know whenever you have reduced incidence matrix, you will have to add one row and column wise you should make it to zero. Then you will be having incidence matrix and from incidence matrix, we can draw graph with respect to nodes and branches where direction of branches will be there from plus one to minus one. I hope you have understood this. Still, if any query is there, just place that in comment box. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.